Hi, I'm Dan. I'm a technical engineer here at SolidPrint 3D, and today we're going to be unboxing the Figure 4, which is a DLP printer by 3D Systems. So let me tell you a little bit more about this printer. It's a DLP printer, and this means that it prints stuff really quickly. You can send something to it, and you can be holding it within the next couple of hours, ready to use, put in your end use parts, ready to show a customer, whatever you want to use it for. 3D Systems has spent a lot of time investing in the materials that are used in this printer, so they're high-end production-grade parts that can be used ultimately in actual engineering projects. The Figure 4 is renowned for being a reliable printer. It's designed not only for prototyping but also for end-use manufacture, so it's really important that it works when it's needed. So let's open up the machine, have a look at what's actually going on inside. So we've got two arms at the top here. These hold our build platform. Um, so these will raise and lower into the resin tank um, when it's printing. So you'll see these moving about. Uh, the resin tank is sitting in the bottom here and you can really easily pop this uh, clip open to change tanks. So if you've got a different material or a different tank you want to print with something else, um, you can open this up, take out the tank, put in your new one, and then it just clicks back into place. We also have a hatch down here which lets us access the projector. Um, so we can have a look in there, we can check it's all working correctly and inspect it there. Then here we have our touch screen, so this is where we can set up prints, we can queue prints on here, we can change the settings of the printer, and we can also change the materials. Um, it does have a QR code reader on the bottom as well, so when you're putting a new material into the machine, um, you can scan the bottom of the material, scan the QR code on it, and that's how you're telling the machine what you're loading into it, so it always knows exactly what it's running with. And so we've also got some storage in the bottom here, um, so this opens up, this is a good place to store all your resins, um, or any spare parts you have. And if you have a look at the wheels too, we've got um, levelling wheels, so you can spin around these discs to bring down little bumpers, uh, lift the printer up, and also that's how you level it, you change the level of the wheels. So, inside this box we should have our build platform, so this is where the models are actually built onto. So this surface here, this is what gets dipped into the resin, and the models start building up from this. You can see it's got lots of little perforations on the surface of it, and this reduces the vacuum and also increases the build plate adhesion, so it helps our parts stick to the base. Um, you can see it also comes with a drip tray, so when you're not using the build platform, it's not dripping over your counter. Um, it keeps it up, keeps it away from any other surfaces, uh, and keeps it safe when it's not being used. In this next box, we should have our resin tank. So this is what's actually storing the resin. So we take this out here. You see, so this is what we pour the resin into, and so we've got this film window here, which is where the projection comes through from. You can see on the tank itself, we have some markers which show how full the tank is. And we also have the um, QR code and identification number for this specific tank. So in this next package, we have the resin casing. Um, so this keeps your resin tank um, secure and stops resin coming out of it, and also stops the resin from curing. Because it's really important that when you're not using your resin tank, uh, you're keeping it covered so it isn't exposed to sunlight. Because uh, as soon as it gets exposed to sunlight, it can start curing, and a resin full of a resin tank full of cured resin is no good. Um, so the resin tank just goes in the top here. The lid goes on top. Uh, we've got a place for a label, so you can label what resin's inside. Uh, and then every once in a while you want to be using this mixer just to mix around the resin, keep it all moving uh, so it doesn't set for too long in one place. So now we're going to unbox the resin that we're going to be using. Um, for our first print we're going to try printing with the rigid white resin. Um, you can get this in grey and black as well, but we've gone for white. Now as it's a rigid resin, it should have very little flex to it, um, and it should also be very strong. So inside this next box we have the roller mixer. Um, so this is the device for mixing your resins. So it has um, rollers here, so you can mix two resins at a time. Um, you put them on, it will spin them around and mix around the contents before you use them in your machine. Um, so it's um, important to do this to make sure they're fully mixed and ready to be printed with. I will get this unboxed and set up and then we will jump back and see it working. So we've got this set up and out of the box now, um, so I'm just going to turn it on at the switch at the back. Um, we can see we've got a start stop button on the front here and then we've got arrows for changing our time as well for how long we want it to mix for. So all we need to do is put our resin on the mixer and then press the start button and it will start to spin the resin. You'll see it'll speed up and start mixing our resin for however long we set it for. So in this box we have the LC3D print box, um, which is for curing your prints after they've been printed. Um, so I'm gonna get this unboxed, um, we'll set this up, uh, turn it on and have a little go with it, see what it does. Once you finish the part on the figure four, it's gonna be left with uncured resin on its surface, so it's really important that we wash it and we put it in the print box to cure. The print box is full of UV lights and they shine on the part from all different angles to make sure that any resin left on the surface is fully cured so you're not touching any uncured resin. The interface of the print box is really simple. We're setting our timer using the arrows and then once we've set how long we want to cure the resin for, we can then start the curing process. 
The part will cure under UV lights this time, and then once it's finished, the part is fully cured and ready to use. So now we're gonna put the resin tank in the machine. Um, so we wanna put it in this top section here. So to get access to this, we need to open the front door and we push in this blue release lever. Um, so by popping that in, this lets us lift up this, um, this hinge, and then we can grab our resin tank and we can lower this into the window. And this um, stretches the film across this window um, so it's, it's tight and it prints clearly. We then push this back down, lock it into place, and then we close the front door and that's now in place, ready to print. So next we're gonna put in our build platform. Um, so this just lowers onto our arms like this and the magnets pull it into place and lock it in the right position. Thank you for watching us unbox and set up the 3D Systems Figure 4. I really hope you found this informative and if you want any more information on it, make sure to get in touch with us. We're always happy to talk to you more about the machine, uh, what it can do and give you any more information you want to know. Also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel um, because we'll be posting more content like this regularly.